Unlike religion, science doesn't pretend to know everything. There are still deep questions about the origins of the universe that have yet to be explained. But just because science can't answer them right now doesn't mean faith, tradition, revelation or an ancient holy text can. Science can't disprove the existence of God. But that does not mean that God exists. There are a million things we can't disprove. The philosopher Bertrand Russell had an analogy. Imagine there's a china teapot in orbit around the sun. You cannot disprove the existence of the teapot because it's too small to be spotted by our telescopes. Nobody but a lunatic would say, well, I'm prepared to believe in the teapot because I can't disprove it. Maybe we have to be technically and strictly agnostic, but in practice we are all teapot atheists. But now suppose that everybody in the society, the teachers, the tribal elders, all had faith in the teapot. Stories of the teapot have been handed down for generations. It's part of the tradition of the society. There are holy books about the teapot. Then somebody who said they did not believe in the teapot might be regarded as eccentric or even mad. There's an infinite number of things like celestial teapots that we can't disprove. There are fairies. There are unicorns. Hobgoblins. We can't disprove any of those, but we don't believe in them any more than nowadays we believe in Thor, Amun-Ra, or Aphrodite. We are all atheists about most of the gods that societies have ever believed in. Some of us just go one god further.